so good day everyone so in this video i will try to simulate our laboratory exam for prelims no in avr studio uh, with the help of um, exagir windows emulator i was able to install avr studio in my mobile device so let's try to run the application let's press ok and then uh, we will just wait for the um, the software to run. Now in this um, part, no, we will create a new project. And then we will choose Atmel AVR Assembler. We will assign the project name. Um, I will name it as Activity. Uh, activity 1. My bad, um, my keyboard is so small. Uh, let's hide the keyboard and then that's that is the location of the file. Then let's click next and then we will choose AVR simulator and then we are tasked now to use the device at meg32. And here it is the device. Let's click finish and it will try to load the ide and it may took a while since uh, we are executing or simulating in a mobile device so here's the ide how it uh, how abr studio looks like let's expand the um, this one then we will try to um, solve the task code number one um, the problem is um, in the description write and assemble uh, program no we will about to load uh, registers r20 then we will try to move the value of r20 to uh, specific registers see just uh, look at the description below and we will try to write the code And since we are tasked to load a certain hex value to a register, we will use LDI. And then the uh, register is R20. And the hex value is 99. And then we will move this value to um, specific registers. So we will utilize the instruction MOV. And then... Um, we will uh, use the syntax which is um, the the register that comes first is the uh, where the destination of the reg, uh, the decimal hex value and then the next one is the source so r20 uh, r0 r20 and now since we are done no, with the registers moving up the values to the specific registers we will type in here rjmp here and then that's it we will try to remove the keyboard and then let's try to um, assemble to see if there is a an error with this code it may took a while since um, we are uh, running on a simulating on a, uh, a mobile. So here it is. No, there are no errors. Assembly complete. Zero error. Zero warning. So we can now since we are tasked now to examine the registers, you no, know, in this program. So let's try to assemble, run and assemb assemble, you no, know, the code and to see the registers on how uh, the their values would behave it may uh, still it may took a while no here is the loading loading bar 
since uh, the mobile phone, mobile device is um, not that capable for this kind of um, Windows software. And there it is. Uh, it is kind of lag. We, we will click the register. And then now we are in the debugging mode. Now let's look at the register 20 to see if the values will change. And we will uh, use this single step info, step info to see if there are, uh, if the value of the register is altering or changing. So let's click. Observe the R20 register. And now it changes the value to 99 now let's look at the R, R0 to R7 as you may see the values are changing from 0 to 99 hex since the move MOV instruction is passing the value of R20 to this register and then let's um, R30 and R31 for the last Let's see if the values will change. Yes, it changes. Yes, it changes. So that's it. Now that is how we examine the registers of the first problem.